All right, hello, hello, everyone. I am back for another reading. Oh, man. Ah, oh, it is uh, the summer solstice. I guess it's actually the 20th today, uh, 620 when I'm doing the video. So uh, take it how it resonates. This is gonna, mm, I'm kind of pulling it as a full moon uh, in cancer energy or no wow okay maybe it has something to do with that I don't know when that will be happening but um we got a lot of stuff man man the last so I'm uploading at this time it's a big video uh it's definitely something different um I just kept saying like something big needed to be revealed well as <laughs> you know uh, as I was doing uh, the different cards right my different pick up pick a pile, pick a card, uh, messages. Uh, it did show, um, the wild unknown archetype of the apocalypse, which is about things being revealed during this time on a global scale even. Um, so I got some really interesting stuff. Some of you, maybe there is mediumship. Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm telling you there's that these are, there's children. This is stuff about children uh wow um so so this is maybe trigger warning there is this is about some of the dark stuff that goes on in this world and it being brought to light uh big truths um so i'm gonna see what the cards have to say i have what's the t and the zodiac signs i saw uh potentially even the uh aquarian energy 127 and i saw cancer sign energy um, but the, the really, so I got a lot of music for you. Uh, this kind of will go along with one of the last videos that, like I said, it's uploading. It was a big one. I, I've never done one that's that long, like 200, well, 200, two hours and 21 minutes long. Um, but it was for several different signs as well. And it is for this full, I'm going to say it's for the full moon that, um, and that solstice energy. I think this is going to be kind of the full moon in Capricorn so there is also Capricorn I did see 111 and I saw 1111 today so um man uh stuff about social media uh this is about protecting children so Gemini energy is there too I saw 6667 um but can be all different Gemini energies uh Libra potentially um Taurus <sighs> oh boy oh boy so um I, I've got some music for you, okay? Okay? Uh, uh, hello to the necromances out there. Mediums, even. That's what I'm kind of seeing here. Uh, once revealed. So what we see in the symbology of tarot derives in a large measure from our own intuum. And once revealed, reflects back upon each of us to further enrich our lives. Gold foil tarot. Whatever you see in this, even look at the symbols. Uh, huh, yeah. Um... Okay, here we go. So a long time ago in my channel, I, 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 especially with Gemini energies, I've really spoken about the, what, what is the mission? What is the purpose? It is about protecting the children. 44. So master number 44 is, uh, even is more of a, it's a being, it's parenting of the world. I don't know how else to explain. It's a different level of it's caring about other people, uh, right? Um, and humanity, okay, caring for the world as well, and children. And I think about some of the stuff that I do, you know, about inner child work, um, and all of these things. And so ultimately, the goal is that one day, children won't need to, uh, or a adults won't need to do this because uh they will be loved and taken care of the proper way by uh, the adults in their life okay and uh the other people will be taken they will take an accountability of so you know so drake's diss oh no not drake's diss i didn't listen to that one i i don't like drake anyways like his music as a i'm not a fan uh but kendrick lamar you know, I'm bringing that one up again. Not like us. So that's what's coming out. There's also something. I had the weirdest word synchronicity. Um, so I've done the books, right, uh, in my channel. Uh, Matilda came through twice. And I saw this meme. 
And I said, um, what do you like to read? And Matilda's answer is everybody. Um, so understand that. Hmm. So then I was like, well, I need to go back and listen to those books with the Matilda. Uh, so maybe also if you're new to my channel or maybe you already did, um, the pick a book for your message, the mini books. Okay, so I actually had two different uh, things with this. Okay. All right. So these are, these are children. I keep, there's like 12 year old and like 14 year old. So these are things regarding even Instagram and Facebook and cyber bullying, sextortion, uh, and sexual abuse. Even I, I probably have to say S a, um, you know, and all of this different stuff. So, um, so corn, if people use that term, instead of you know what I mean anyways the band right I bought, brought this up so the song hater if you uh there's also thoughtless uh these are songs so if you watch the video the paradigm shift even with corn and hater hater uh it shot it talks about being bullied constantly um to the point that the online uh cyber bullying or even just in high school um, so not, so it's not just the adults, but other children being assholes to other children, right? Um, and really bringing out, uh, bringing out that evil, I don't know how to explain, but the hatred, um, the vengeance. So I got Hydra too. So careful of being coming. So, so many people seem to think like, especially, so I just got to talk about, you know, the Daybell thing, or uh, Lori Cox. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna call her uh and saying how you know all these people that she was involved in their murders uh her her children and her that they they're they've forgiven her and she communicates with them all the time and uh, I'm just gonna tell you, you if you think that you can just murder and horrific if a person dies that way that they're just like oh Oh, I forgive you. No biggie. I understand. Uh, no, there's vengeful spirits and they want, they want justice. Yeah. So I've also mentioned, uh, psychic Reverend Donna Serafina's channel. Um, it gets a little intense when you do, when you do this and there, I personally, there's, there's a sense of me like, I kind of don't want to be the medium because it is, it is, but at the same time, there's something calling, right? Like, uh, I don't know how to explain. So I talked about, so I'm going to bring up the, like I said, the Drake diss, uh, and his name is Aubrey, right? In, in real life and I'm all in real life and, uh, the whole thing of like, uh, the men with Female names, okay? And you're not going to believe it, but this other dude's name was Stacy Drake. And he was just arrested uh, for being a murderer in Arkansas. So that that popped up. Um, the Zuckerberg stuff with Instagram. Oh, man. And Ted Cruz and uh, pedos. You know, hashtags. Um yeah uh evidence uh you know uh kevin spacey I, I don't know if y'all remember him from way back when uh, i remember that coming out a long time ago about him like in the little boys uh but i think he got that i don't know he's bankrupt now or something something like that but i was watching a video and uh it was him interviewing by uh i can't remember the other dude's name <laughs> i i, I I'm like, what's his name? Is it Pierce? I think so. But something about admitting seeing Bill Clinton, you know, with young teenage girls. So we got all this stuff in that, you know, Trump went to court for pay hush money or something. I don't even know. Uh, and their star witness is a freaking porn star. <laughs> okay. And there's bad stuff with that judge, right? And uh, nepotism with his daughter. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to tell you that you can do your own research and look into that. But so what about Bill? 
What about the Clintons? I'm getting a lot about the Clintons too. Um, <laughs> Hillary. But the other thing is the name Hillary is spotlighted multiple times and the name Mike as well. So I also understand not just Micah, but Mike. Um, <laughs> so there is, there is certain predators for sure, for sure. Uh, and so that's the whole thing. They're not like us. Yeah. Because cause we're actually trying to protect the children. The mission is about protecting the children, not uh, abusing them and harming them. And I need to bring up the uh, the fact that just because you're in a religious thing and religion's actually covering up some of the darkness or, or even protecting predators. Um, so I brought up Cults for Consciousness. So you can go to her channel too. She has a lot of information about all different types of uh, religious beliefs and the type of things that actually went on to these went on with these children um even so incestual is you know like sexual abuse of your own child and um yeah a bishop which is, a bishop is supposed to, supposed to be holding a high position in a church um in the mormon church and then this other guy like i brought it up i this is the thing I set it off. For some reason, they stopped my video. Well, I found a different video to explain it. Uh, anyways, it, so it's just a really weird thing about how, like, you know, ugh, the infidelity, the lies, all those things are no more lies, no more lies, right? Um, I'm being caught, you know? Uh looking at, uh, there's pictures, <laughs> there's evidence, there's videos, there's confessions, uh, that are coming forth and it's going to blow your mind. So let's see. Um, I don't know if I want to bring up any more at this point. What's coming into my mind about it. Okay. <sighs> Jupiter abundance wisdom. So this is maybe there's something going on in the planets with Jupiter. I don't know, but this is even the higher court stuff. Um, mm, you know what I mean? So higher jurisdiction, also about different cultures, uh, college levels courses. Okay. This is, uh, learning even right about religions, about different cultures, wisdom and abundance. This is good luck. And, and I already shuffled all these after the last one. And now I'm like 12 minutes in and I have hardly said it. I'm like, and I haven't pulled any cards, but it is about, so there's your trigger warning. Those are kind of the things uh, that are, which is a scorpionic nature, right? Um, and that's why this, so understand that. Uh, even the occult, uh, necromancing, <laughs> mediumship, things like that. Uh, and when the intent is for the highest good of all uh, and protection, and it's not about manipulation and harming others. It's about bringing things to light and giving proof and evidence of justice can be served. Uh, so that those people don't get away with uh, murder and, uh, you know, horrible things. <laughs> and men and women can do it. But, you know, what I mean, so it's not that's kind of the thing like, oh. That's what's uh, kind of being spotlighted that needs to um, be addressed. And um, yeah, so I don't understand some of the stuff with that Instagram, like that whatever with some of the hashtag things that can straight up, you know how the AI gives you more of what you want they're giving. So those, uh, they like to be called maps, I believe, minor attracted people. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is just fucking gross. Yeah. Um, that's what I think is evil. That's the devil. Because, uh, and infidelity and lying. Yeah. And then murder. See, it's like one begets another begets another. Um, and so that's why we are not the same. You are not like us. And this whole we are one and all of this and da 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 da. 
is not. We're in the same, uh, we're on the same planet, but we're, there's clearly, we're not on the same team. If a person is trying to, uh, uh, traffic children or, or women, I don't, you know, and, and women can be, they can be the ones that go and, uh, just like, what's her name? Like, and that's the thing. I'm like, what's her name? Because you don't, they don't deserve to even get any spotlight other than that. I'm sorry. That's where you, shame and guilt. Sorry, shame and guilt. Because you create, they create harm to our world and society and other human beings. Uh, that's even, I'm seeing it's, it is, it's like slavery. Uh, that's happening. So, <clears throat> higher court, federal justice, worldly affairs. So in France, there's something going on even about a 12 year old and three boys doing things. And yeah, it's just, it's not okay. It's not okay. All right. Okay. And the sun shining light on it. This is even about the ego, right? Mm. This is about even having pride. This is, this also represents a masculine energy. Wow. Well, some of you maybe are a Sagittarian. I also see maybe the, and even a sun being 13. Okay. The 13 year old. Ah, oh, there's these sextortion things happening. You see? And it's manipulation through the internet and Snapchat and all of that bullshit. Mm -hmm. um, I see 418. So I do see a little Aries energy. I also see 1318. So a little Capricorn. 913, Virgo, 94, Virgo, 49, 49. Okay. Uh, I did sense also some Leo, a bit of a Leo energy. Um, Wow, so the fire. Okay, I'm gonna give these a good shuffle and then I'm gonna put these up here and we are gonna see who this, uh, what zodiac sign, what planets uh, will I be putting in the title? I, I see Virgo again. Wow, Virgo is uh, in the wrong. I, I just keep seeing this Virgo energy in the wrong. I think the person's name is Mike, actually, a Virgo named Mike. I know this is weird, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Virgo's upside down. Mm. Again. Yeah. Saturn upside down. 619. No way. Capricorn there too. 1019. Libra. And then we got the Jupiter again. 910. 919. Mm. I don't know. Interesting. 93 or something. 93. Um, could also be a cancer sign. I don't know why I'm telling you that. I see the Pluto in reverse. 622. Ooh, okay. So that's in a couple days. Maybe we're getting it during that time. That's in that cancer sign season. Ooh, and remember Lori? Oh gosh, she's a cancer sign. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? What a nutbag. I'm a what a nutbag. She kind of has that Wanda Barzi look to her now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Y'all remember that one? That guy? Elizabeth Smart thing? Mm. Anyways. Maybe not. She was found after like six months. And that's what, and he did all these horrible things. So it included, never mind. Okay. All right, let's see what what zodiac sign is to come through for this. I really want to go and do. I I wanted to keep it on the lighter side. I have big fun things planned, you know, for the Cancer's birthday sign or Cancer season into July uh, with the sacred mirrors and forest spirits. I'm bringing in forest spirits, sacred forest, and the antiquity of anatomy. So maybe when you're getting this, this could be uploaded. I plan to do that for the July monthlies for all of the different Zodiac signs. Um, but I wasn't quite ready because this needs to be expressed. I need to get through. It's like you got to, we got to get through the bullshit 
We got it so you can clean it out so it can be healed. Right? You gotta get the shit out. We and and I it bugs me when you're when people are just naive and they just want to turn their back and pretend like they're you know, this is the whole thing of stand righteous uh what's the word? Hmm. Anger. Okay. And and it has actually nothing to do. I, I've spoken a lot about my feelings and thoughts regarding religion. Okay, and we already know about the Pope, so I don't need to bring that up again. Right? And what about the, the Boy Scouts? Yeah. The moon! Dude, that's the one that came through again. All right. So this big full moon, I saw the sun and the moon once again. The moon in this deck, it does have Cancer sign and Pisces, right? So this may be really tapping into this moon energy, bringing forth these things. So maybe I can even, it could be your own moon sign. Uh, so whenever, wherever the full moon, as you can see, when that is happening during that. Right now, like I said, uh, it's called the strawberry moon. I believe it's in Capricorn. I see one four even, <laughs> but there's big changes. I feel like there could also be Aries, Cancer sign, or Leo potentially for your moons or for the moon. Mm. These are the emotions. This is even into the unknown. The moon, intuitive. Okay, let's see. That was the first one that got out. I'm like waiting for the card to like flip itself. And they do. Like they they will actually flip themselves over in the deck for me or they'll fly out. That's kind of how it works. Okay. Whoa, there we go. That was nice. The sun. Holy shit. This is the duality. The father and the mother even. Feminine and masculine. And balancing as a whole. Hmm. So the sun sign energy right now as I'm doing it, I think we are in that Cancerian energy. 13, 14, 513, Taurus, 5, 4. All right, what else? That one. Mercury, this communication. Mm. Maybe there's communication from a sun or something like this. I'm also seeing because communication, Mercury is ruled by Virgo and Gemini's, right? Holy crap, we're going right in flow. That is very, I mean, they're a little off. We got 14, 13, 15. But these three cards are in the deck. They go together. 415. 515. 46. Wow. Maybe they are. Maybe they're Aries. And Capricorn. Mm. All right. Anything else? I see Neptune there. So some Piscean energy and Capricorn. Wow. And Libra. 1021. Mm. 310. All right. Oh, boy. Boy, oh boy. All right. What else? So I do have also this cleansing here. So this also can represent your, your ego. These are upright. All of these. So I'm seeing it is in, in their strength and their power. Um, this communication that's coming through even is very tactful, logical. They, this is about thinking even. The sun and the moon. Ooh, there could be some weird conjunctions even. And Mercury. Mm. Okay, what's next? Anything else before I go to the tarot? Here's the final one. Hello, Scorpios. The Scorpionic nature here. Okay, I do see Leo with this. I know this is interesting. I have to tell you what I see. I see Leo and Taurus. Taurus is the opposite. Um, Mercury. <laughs> so my Mercury is zero degrees Scorpio. It's a critical degree. Critical. Um. Yeah, and I like to share those things because I think it helps understand as well. Uh, I need to talk about Scorpio. Okay, now Scorpios, don't take offense. <laughs> yeah, there's a secret of nature. Uh, this is about seeking into the unknown as well, once again. Um, however, I must, uh, the people that I do know of that are in society, in the world, that are in trouble... Um, that are Scorpios. I'm going to bring that up. 
Okay. Um, well, Mr. Joe Biden. <laughs> well, Mr. Puff Daddy. Did he do it? I think he did. He let. Let's ask Bieber. Justin Bieber. Oh, Justin Timberlake. You know, spotlighted in the news, being drunk. Um, ooh, the name Haley was coming through too. Is that what is? Oh, I threw it. Ooh, someone threw something. Mm, threw a temper tantrum. Oh, that's right. I did see another meme and it was um, showing me. Oh, it's showing me. Uh, I'm like, it was showing me that daddy, <laughs> daddy was having another, um, he was being a poor sport about being a loser again. And the game of Monopoly was there and flipping it up. Cause what is the game of Monopoly It's buying and buying and buying and owning property and banking and all of that. Right. Um, mm. Well, so I'm not going to call all, Scor clearly, all Scorpios are not, there are some that are very intuitive and they're doing the same thing, like, you know, I, but like I said, we got to call it what it is, uh, wow, so I'm kind of, maybe even some of you could have a Scorpio sun or moon, um, this is different than I was anticipating, wow, and we do got the Taurus there too. I, like I said, I see a lot of Leo too. I'm going to say also all of those 814, 813, 815. Oh, shit. Huh. We got 48, 58, and 68. So some Gemini. And then there's the Taurus under there. Hmm. Pisces. Taurus and Pisces. Why y'all's. There's Aquarian too. 212, 12, 2, Sagittarius, 9, 12, Virgo. Yeah, Earth sign. I have Pisces and Taurus always together. Sagittarius, Pisces, Taurus. Hmm, maybe that's specific. Okay. I'm going to leave it at that. Let's get some tarot. Okay. I'm just going to, I I don't know that I'm going to, I'll probably just do all signs, whoever, uh, a full moon reading, right? Um, maybe this is a global type thing or what's coming brought to light. Wow. Yeah. So underneath here, we have a celebration, a party. This is a reunion even, a reconciliation, a get together, celebrating. Hmm. There's a celebration. Okay. Wow. And communicating about it. Yeah. Maybe you're receiving uh, messages. Uh, this is the action card. 3-8. Pisces. Maybe it's with a Pisces or a Leo potentially. Doesn't have to be. Um, but I'm also saying, right, this is writing it down and coming, taking action and communicating. This is all about action, whether it's texting or going and talking about it as well, about a celebration, a party. Maybe that's the thing there. There's messages. Uh, so check your phone. Like it was the whole thing is, is people don't realize how much information is out there that they share about themselves. I don't get it. So I'm just going to say like, the Snapchat, you got messengers, you got text messages, you know, different things like that. Um, right. And I feel like this is finding that, that information. And so the irony is when we do see things in the news and then you see people comment, uh, and, and when they're, it's like when they're like commenting in a sense that well, it's the parents' job to watch over and take care. Well, sometimes some of these parents aren't doing that. That's the thing, right? Uh, and shouldn't let your, your child, the babysitter, be the phone. And I'm like, uh, um, anyways, it's kind of like um, whether they're not necessarily saying anything bad and they're not like defending it. But at the same time, they're not appalled by what they're finding out about... Um, the underage, the minor, you know, the child stuff. Uh, also in Idaho, there is a U.S. Marine who was just found guilty for downloading uh, 
just barely came forward for downloading that type of stuff onto their computer, laptop, whatever it was that they found. They have the, yeah. So it's almost like the, the information's there. And that's the other thing. The Facebook, the Instagram, I don't know about Twitter. I'm not into any of these things, to be honest. And uh, the Messenger, Snapchat, all of these things. Um, there's document, there's documentation and they have access to see and they know who is part of, you know, what, what they're writing, who they're, you know, uh, who is the cheater, what they're doing and what they're, they should be doing is that whatever IP address or thing that does these seeking and searching, uh, that they are reported to the authorities. So. Sometimes that's the thing, the the predator, the they just put themselves um just say something and then <laughs> they make when they make themselves seen, uh they reveal who they are. Um and it's like, well, now we can go now if we look and see what's on your and I think that's the biggest thing is that they're they're so cyber bullying as well uh facebook has been sued for wrongful death uh the ceo then instagram and all well so zuckerberg i mean i don't know what else. um multiple suicides of young children and they are culpable of it because they know it's going on and they don't try and stop it or do anything and guess what all the bullies and all the other people doing it also need to be charged and and uh accountability taken uh yeah so and i've seen i have seen like old people too be completely idiotic it's like they're they feel like they're there's no repercussions or something like and they can just run their mouth or not run their run their fingers <laughs> typing. I'm just saying, like, know your enemy as well. You know, know your enemy. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna give it a good shuffle, and I'm gonna see. Uh, what needs to come out for this full moon, for this moon energy? What needs to come to light for the moon? Okay. Whoa, shit. There we go. Yeah, the seven of swords over there. Oh, someone got busted. Okay, Scorpio. Oh, my gosh. So much Scorpio. The death card. The queen of cups. Ooh, feminine. So, could be Pisces. We got queen of cups. We got, ooh, ooh. A decision made about an ending, a death. Uh, there's even, so this young girl, I, I mean, I'm not getting her name. I don't remember her name, but it, it was just like all spotlight. There's so many of them guys. That, that's the thing. There's just, ugh, wow. So I'm seeing very much Scorpio sun and I'm going to call it out as I never looked up what Hunter Biden was. Who else is a Scorpio besides Puff Daddy and Joe Biden? That's, uh, spotlighted in the news from being nasty nasty there's a death or an ending transformation decision is made at this moon this is getting clarity wow 10 11 12 13 yeah 213 we got the 13 no way the sun card is the 13 they're ch they're children 13 14 15 year olds Queen of Cups. She upright though. This is even, you know, the mother. So this could be a Scorpio. This could be you. This is being completely understanding. Um, very compassionate, very loving, very intuitive. Upright, she is in her right state of mind. She's not thrown into an she's not playing a victim. She's not overindulging. You know what I mean? This is trying to be loving and understanding about even grief, potentially. 
Oh man, that's some crazy stuff right there. Let's see what's over here as this flu. All right, wow. Even this communication, maybe it's very compassionate, very loving. Maybe it's coming through from a queen of cups to you or you are, or it's someone who, I mean, I see the sun and then so that could be a masculine energy. It could be a child. It could be that sun. Oh, there was a lot that were, that were young boys too. There's so many guys. Seven of swords in reverse. Ooh, justice upright. Yes. Justice will be served. This person was sneaky, liar, thief. There was something they were trying to get away with. And justice is coming in. And they don't get they, justice upright. Good. Yes. That's beautiful. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Eleven seven Scorpio. Whoa. Okay, let's see these. Ooh, there is a page of swords, so there could have been some stalking, spying, gossip that isn't true. This is good. I like this. Hmm. See, I got you know some some of the music is uh, so I got rat. The band and uh, heads I win, tails you lose. <laughs> yeah, I got something about somebody works at McDonald's and they left a He Man or something. We got He Man and Skeletor, right? Haven't seen you since high school. <laughs> and it's, and then and they're still working. They're they're working at Mickey D's. Okay. Um, wow. Oh, so this is about working with others, collaborating. Interesting enough. Okay, here we go. That's what I'm going to do. So I like to share these R E B B L rebel. It stands for empowering the people. This one's a chocolate peanut butter banana. Oh, oh, I got something different. So uh, Priscilla, so Mark Zuckerberg's wife, Priscilla, I don't I don't know why I, I'm not I don't know much about her, but that just popped in my head. Um, oh, she had the dark black hair. Anyways, they uh, this this brand, this company, uh, I believe it's Paulo Hawkins. Let's see. So people, planet empowerment. Rebel is a brand founded from a cause. To date, we've donated over $2 million to our nonprofit partner, Not For Sale, to end the exploitation of at-risk people and planet. Um, so if you're looking to donate, I mean, investigate it. Uh, so I believe Paula Hawkins, but I don't know if David Batstone is still part of that or not. But um, then I heard something about Bill Gates being... Uh, helping with it I'm like ugh, I don't know about that anyways collaborating with others you know this is about working with others on something important it's a decision right to work with certain people and create something okay all of a sudden I feel hungry okay um I see something ended right we see this death this ending this transformation that has to do with a home maybe this happened at home or they've lost they've lost their home ah they've lost their home for co foreclosure of a dream mm. this could have even been um hmm You know, a, a, an ending of a house, though, this is, could have been an ending. They could have passed in the home. That's what I'm saying. Or their home, they've lost, like they, um, even with the death benefits or something. Hmm. Three, four. Yeah. So this is heartbreaking. That's why I'm telling you. This communication like, so she understands she's really, but, and maybe even you could be feeling very heartbroken about finding out these things. Yeah. When you would look in about this king of pentacles in reverse. 
and that their only focus was on money and how they could make more money. They don't care about the people. They don't care about the children. They care about money. Bottom, there's this song called Boom. B-O-O-M, Boom. Still this. Uh -huh, it's the album and it's System of a Down. And it like says, yeah, you gotta hear it. Oh, also the warning. Nine Inch Nails. You heard her cry. You'll make amends. Someone's heartbroken over this. Um, I see someone could have been stalking. There is, uh, there could be gossip. Hearsay even. Um, this page of swords in reverse. Uh, is showing that someone is looking in and talking crap about something. Mm. And, but it, were there, someone's going to get justice for this. This could be that bullying. You know what I mean? Or uh, starting some type of rumor or something, right? This is even about children or it's other children doing it. This is immature. Mm. This King of Pentacles is in reverse. They got caught. I'm just seeing it. Once again, they were bored. <laughs> there was apathy. There was boredom. Maybe there's a little regret over some of it. Oh, they're so sorry. No one should have to go through that. Right. No one. King of Pentacles came in reverse again. So this man is greedy uh, and a liar and a thief. Okay. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what the T is now. Underneath the deck. In their head. Zombie. Oh, that's right. I forget. Bobby. Uh, Rob Zombie. See, this is how I got the... You need to understand this. This is coming through that... that per, some per, This person already passed. Um, and it might have been suicide. Okay? Um, or... Oh. They were there or murder. It's not a, it's not a natural thing. Okay. Um, because solution number nine and a white zombie and the beginning of it says, I remember her saying, I'm already dead. I'm already dead. Right. Okay. And then we got supercharger heaven. I know the supernatural isn't supposed to happen, but it does. This might be a Capricorn. I mean, I think, I don't know. What is Trump? Is he a Capricorn? I don't really, I'll be honest, I don't really freaking care. I just don't, I just want, you know what I mean? I just want to protect the children uh, from these evil people. Um, but I also see it as Taurus, Virgo. Okay. Um, I don't know who the Virgo is, though, guys. That's the one. I'm like, hmm, who is this one? Hmm. Okay. What are we at on time? 43, 45. See, these go so long. Drama starter, right? See, and that's what I'm saying this is. Could be. Because in reverse is slander and gossip, right? That is not true about something. It's starting. But this person gets found out and caught. They were being sneaky, lying. I got a little Virgo and Leo. An actor. I mean, it's showing a drama. Like, they're, they're acting. Mm. All right. <clears throat> All right. Bankrupt. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Is it Kevin Spacey, dude? What? what? Oh, oh, and there's another one. Heads will roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Kathy Griffin and her 
all her plastic surgery stuff. So these are also, uh, uh, and her tattooed lips. And then her attack against Trump and putting like a, a fake head on a stick, you know, parading it around or something back like forever ago. Because I got the other song by Melanie Martinez called Mrs. Potato Head. It talks about sticking pins in ya and needles and take this, uh, you know, careful to read the warning sign. Anyways, <laughs> oh gosh, so that's why it was really weird. So it has something to do with how do you pay for that? You just need $100,000 for some compliments. This is a superficial person as well, who's very, very superficial. I feel like when you are very into, uh, so there's plastic surgeon, Right? There's, there's this all about themselves. Mm. All right. Let's see. Let's see. What's the T? Let's see. What's the T? Oh, you got cock blocking. <laughs> and the ego. Her ego. Ego getting in the way of a relationship, etc. Okay, what about the sun energy, this transformation, this ending in the house, rejected, whoa, and screenshotting things, getting evidence, proof and facts, they're screenshotting, oh my gosh, so this is some of the stuff that I got to, uh, someone is, re they felt rejected, and so now they're trying to get evidence, proof and facts, so they're screenshotting things that they see, that you, like, that's what they're, they're trying to get this evidence, um, with this, Mm, Snapchat stuff and the sextortion things. That's what the people do. Now, I, I'm almost guaranteeing you that it's probably, I mean, it could be a woman, but what they're doing is pretending to be, you know, uh, a person of the, of the similar age, you know, and boys are being really wrapped up into it because they're saying, like, soliciting sexual type pictures so here's the other thing as soon as one of these children you know gets they think that you know they're in a type of relationship they're getting, being instigated by pictures and as soon as they do they they give in and show some type of a nude photo or a, a provocative nature that is what child what and so that person is an adult most likely and as soon as they do that they take a snapshot of it or a screenshot and then they extort for money or else they tell them they're going to tell everyone and their families and put it on you know and so that's why they're they're being put in this place this position Man, yeah, so um, screenshot things even. Maybe you need to. I don't know. They're getting evidence about this. This death, this ending. Okay, this one too. A thief robbed the rob. Loss, theft, physical or emotional. Um, I can bring up another one. Um. Gosh, I can't remember the person's name, man. It is um, a man who was part of Biden's administration once. You know, he likes to wear lipstick in women's dresses, but he's the bald guy with the mustache. I don't remember his name. And he's not part of it. He was part of, like, I can't, oh, kind of like a science, like... And he got caught stealing um, people's luggage and then wearing uh, and then having the nerve to go um, post pictures of himself wearing. And so there's this woman who saw her her unique fashion designs 
and found the, and got the proof and brought it to light. It took her five years. Um, that's an example. Whoa, even about cyberbullying. This guy, holy shit. I never saw this before, but there's a gun in this guy's hand. She's smiling at him, though. And then we got the cyberbullying. So I'm just saying potentially even something like that. Getting the proof or evidence that somebody stole or lied. Uh, this could be even... So a thief is also a physical or emotional thief. Meaning... Uh, so this is even about infidelity or things like that too. Emotional... Uh, things let's see and then with a cyber bully it's in reverse you are being bullied online or they are has suffered <laughs> uh and that's right there in the king of pentacles and that's why i was like wow this is what is bringing this forth this came through in the other one maybe someone is lying about it or something but there's proof and evidence this king of pentacles. Hmm. It's because somebody was bored. How sad is that? Let's see. Always partying. Fake flexing. Pretending like they have money. Acts rich. Flosses money. Acts fancy. Shows off. And they have no facts. Never has the facts and makes shit up. All right. Oh, this one flew out too. Ooh, divination abuser. Very interesting. Hmm. So for some of you, it could be people like that even. Huh. Wow. I want to get clarification on that one. Okay. Okay. Strength. Someone's trying to have strength. Okay, I'm just saying. Someone's blocking someone from doing, you know, from, from being able to do. It's even saying, like, they were blocking from the information to come forth. They're trying to cover it up. Hush, hush. I mean, it's all come to light about Hunter and the laptop. And then because we have the political stuff going on, uh, it's, you know... So you y'all know that now all the campaigning and all this other bullshit and covering things up and uh, Mark Zuckerberg did even like admit this on Joe Rogan's show. So you can see that. I see the Leo energy. It could be a Leo, but I'm seeing someone trying to have strength, right? To hold it. This is even be brave, be courageous. Ooh, and needing to rest and heal. This person needs to heal. They need to go even maybe the hospital. Huh. Divination abuser. Hmm. I also see that as manipulating it to get the message you want or not telling, not reading it correctly. You know what I mean? Like pulling cards and then just saying whatever you want. This is manipulating. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Holy crap, guys. I don't know why, but these queen and king of the pentacle people, this person is a greedy. So they're a money hungry person. That's what I say. Queen of Pentacles. They're asking. They constantly. This is about money. I see this is the fake. Fake. Okay, wow. So that could be Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Um, hmm. Or, you know, there are some where they just want to tell you everything is wonderful and let happy and la, la, la. Don't look over there. Or they're going to be, I, I don't know. Hmm. Okay. What is about this divination abuser? Oh, the star. They want to be a star. 
they, they, they're always very hopeful about healing things. It's Aquarius. It's energy. Oh, but underneath it, that's the weirdest thing. This is about being optimistic and hopeful. This is also about they want to be seen as a star. Uh, maybe they are a star or they do readings for stars uh, or they're an Aquarius person. And that's what I'm saying. Even like they, 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 okay. So in the Bible, <laughs> I'm bringing this up. So Timothy, oh, I mean, Timothy talks about, you know, those teachers and their itching ears, right? And always telling people what they want to hear. Uh, you know what I mean? Or that looking up at the stars. You're going to be a star. Okay, but I also see actually the six of wands in reverse. So, um, and five of cups. So this is humbling your ego. Okay. Hmm. That's what I, I'm, I'm sending that over there. Hope and healing. Ego was right here too, right? Creating, working, getting getting clarity. Her ego getting in the way of a relationship. She's like got her back turned. Um, this is feeling very unvictorious. There could have been a time of feeling deep depression. But I'm seeing it being turned around. This is being humbled. And coming out of feeling so... Uh, depressed or even saying that somebody is depressed five six and six five ten, 15, 17 one seven okay I also see eight six and eight five eighty six eighty five yeah okay this is feeling very unvictorious. You know what I mean? Like there's a moon energy even. You're saying it was a crane moon or crane rising. It doesn't have to be. Um, f four and five. This is, so this is a death, right? An ending, a transformation. Someone feels very rejected. Maybe you didn't get the home or they get kicked. I mean, this house, this ending, this sun. Um, and there was a sense of, sadness about it but i see it as coming out from a depressive energy but we have three swords over there the hierophant is upright wow so the hierophant coming upright again whoa but there is anxiety and sleepless nights juggling finances mm. underneath the deck that's what i see i mean the hierophant Someone getting the screenshots. The, this is about rules. Law. That's what it is. Higher font to me um, is about what you believe. Your beliefs. Maybe it's spiritual beliefs. Um, moral beliefs. But also the rules and laws of life. Karmic laws even. There is someone who is maybe even. This could be a marriage. Um, this often represents. Maybe they feel very heartbroken over these things. Let's see. Someone can't let go of these emotions. They're really holding on to... This is holding on strongly to your beliefs and the emotions. And be, no longer waiting. This is an action time. Oh, okay. Right, action time. Oh, magician. Okay. All right. Hmm. Standing strong. This is about a contract even. Maybe that, and this is, this evidence is, it's going to be heart ragging though. I mean, someone feels heartbroken over what they see, uh, right? And they can't let go of these emotions about someone being a liar. There's emotional thief, a uh, physical uh, theft, stealing another person's property, you know. You down with OPP? Yeah, you know me. <laughs> Naughty by nature. Okay. No. Uh, yeah, and now it's time to take action. It's like you, so you're going to receive it now. Whatever you've been waiting for, the information. Mm. Yeah. Someone gets caught. There is, there is 
cyberbullying or they you or them have been. And that's the weirdest thing because that's why I brought up like Mark Zuckerberg being this tourist person and he got a lot of fucking money, right? He's an elite now. <laughs> uh, and that's what he does. He's selling us. He's selling, you know. I've learned also to take control of my social media so I do, like, know what I'm going to see and what I want to see, you know, like, what groups. Uh, but there are nasty fucking groups. And, you, and because most of us, aren't looking for these adult playhouse and hot horny single moms groups on Facebook and Instagram <laughs> but yet they're they're like oh well that might be spam this is this is bad and knowing that there's like married men or women like in that group and ugh, doing it behind their you know, and then, then you can see the pictures of them and their family, all la, 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 but underneath it, I don't know why I'm telling you all that, but that's maybe something about that. Um, we got action time and we got the magician in reverse. Okay. So that shows ill manifestation, ill will, uh, this divination in reverse or this divination abuser, uh, I would maybe even say that's somebody about, uh, you know, I would say with magician in reverse is is someone who doesn't actually have the what they want to manifest, or they're doing something in darkness. So I'm saying it action time. It's the right timing. This is a karmic thing. The will of fortune, because we got also there will be justice will be served for whoever this thief is. They're caught. It's coming to light. Um, you're going to receive something, right? The information. Or you're going to... It's like finding out who they are. Then we got the Wheel of Fortune here. Hmm. My goodness. Wow. 310 and 53. So I got some Taurus and Pisces. There we go. Let me see what else I got here. Ooh, 710. Mm, so maybe some Cancerian. As well as 74. Ah, 4th of July. Mm, 8, 7, 8, 4, and 8, 10. Leo's too. Okay. So this is divine timing. This is the will of fortune. This is being on the top. This is a good, uh, good luck. Good karma. Receiving um, even fortune, right? Now, though, us having this energy in reverse, showing that somebody does not have, this is trying to pretend like you are a magician who can manifest your dreams and you've got it all, but underneath, they don't have. So this is when people start doing shady things because they want to take from others because they're missing pieces. They don't have all it takes to create what they're what they're saying or what they're wanting. Hmm. But you should. It could be bored. 10 1. Maybe it is a Libra energy, even. Could be. Or 10 4. I also see the Nine of Cups in reverse. Wow. Okay. So I'm going to say the interesting thing is the Libra one was in the other one. Libra. Um, and they kind of have the same thing. Wasn't getting what they were hoping for. Yeah, you, you're, it's like not going to get what you're hoping for because wishes in reverse. Uh, Ace of Swords in reverse. So someone's not giving you the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. One nine, one eleven. maybe it's even a Capricorn um, or Virgo. And that's the whole thing is seeing like they're not going to be able to get what they're wishing for because they are wishing... This Nine of Cups is getting your wishes fulfilled and having this is hedonism even, uh, you know, in one way could be overindulgence. Not going to get get what they were hoping for. OK, we do have someone not telling the truth or uh, not having this clarity, um, not communicating. Right, not communicating as I. Yeah, because now we have the communication in reverse. 
right? Someone was rejected. 5815. Ah, and now we have the completion, the world, getting proof. Someone was very heartbroken about it. This is, this is fresh. This hurts. There could be a third party energy with that. So that's that whole infidelity thing, right? Uh, or it's heartbreaking to find out that somebody is stolen or lied or hurt themselves. Hmm. But this is the final, this is the finality. I see 821. So as we move into Virgo energy too, 521 even, Gemini, 321. The communication, Mercury. Hmm. That's the completion, the finality of it, of that book, of that chapter. And then, because that's that rejection, like it's over. So I feel like that's when things are going to be completed. And then it's a whole new world moving forward. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. I told you someone bringing you something in. Maybe they're even bringing back. Maybe a child is coming in. Um, this is even asking for... This This is good. So upright, this is even bringing you a little gift, right? Um, they, they come in with something, right? That they've made or created or used their own money for. It's not huge. I mean, I always say it's like bringing a coffee or bringing you some flowers or you know um a little art project or something but you're gonna it's like receiving it wow and it's justice maybe it's about children right what's there someone can't let go of these emotions right about feeling like someone is a thief or a liar and i don't blame you because it needs to be, they, because they're going to continue doing it to other people. And so it's not necessarily about trying to, it's about protecting other people from bad people. Uh, and I do see as we, as we move forward, there is anxiety, sleepless nights. The will has turned, this king of pentacles. Uh, and it could be Virgo. I also see potentially it even could be an Aquarian person. And because King of Pentacles just represents to me masculine person who isn't a lack mentality, greedy. They may be losing, uh, but they may have good fortune, right? They have a lot of money, but you also have that Scorpio energy there too. Um, hmm. And this is the right timing. So it's like, this is all happening in perfect divine timing. It's all unfolding. All right. So even though there could be nightmares, anxiety, sleepless nights. Whoa. I feel like some, because someone is no longer protecting or defending or blocking. I see nine, seven, seven, nine, two, seven, and two, nine. And we've also got the 10, nine, one, oh, nine. I got a lot of Virgo with that, but could be, I don't have much. Interesting, okay. Nine one, I told you, <laughs> I'm, I told you. Uh, no longer defending or blocking, no longer defending a person because the truth comes forth about they get caught. Um, yeah, Knight of Wands, yeah, being a player. No longer defending this person who is non-committal, running around, uh, immature. Yeah. No longer defending even for some of this person. No longer protecting. Okay. I also see, once again, someone not getting what they were hoping for, right? This divination abuser even. And it's a cock blocking. So that's like... Someone trying to be hopeful that this, you know, that it's okay to be a player and run around and have multiple people. Knight of Wands. Mm. Juggling. Yeah, that's Knight of Wands juggling. That, to me, that's also juggling money. Uh, running around and, and even giving money or getting money. Maybe someone doesn't have the clarity or they don't know the truth about this. Someone is feeling very um, 
unvictorious, right? Um, regarding even maybe finances. That's rocky water. This is rough waters, right? This shows infinity here too. Never ending cycle of borrowing. It's always this borrow from Peter to pay Paul. And there's a never ending cycle of being in debt and always needing and borrowing and I'm seeing them juggling, okay? Okay, where we've got the eight of wands, so blocking even communication, no longer communicating. Uh, it, it's actually what it says what will help you get out of this funk, this transformation, this ending. Yeah, because there was also, whoa, competition and fighting. Yeah, so it's like reject this. Do not allow, it's like do not want to fight. This is physical brawling, fighting, battling, or it's competing. Someone could have been violent. Oh, man. Yeah, this is gang, being ganged up on and being even killed. Because uh, we got the death card there. But this, it could also be this transformation. Not letting these people in your home or in your life, in your space. Block the communication. Like, just stop interacting. That's what I see it. Reject. Reject the system. <laughs> Think for yourself. <laughs> Two, five. Ooh, Aquarius. Wow. So as I move this forth, I do see the, the Queen of Wands is upright. Okay. Uh, this is very beautiful. She's probably one of the most beautiful queens in the deck. Um, I mean, they're all, you know, Empress is really beautiful too, but she's usually, a, the Queen of Wands has a lot of confidence, upright. Upright, she's very classy. And her confidence actually uh, is magnetizing, right? Um, yeah, and she's patient. She understands even finances, investments. Wow. Being a queen. So this is Aries, Leo, Sag energy, right? And then being patient with this investment. Even with healing the heart. King of Wands upright. Again, this is good. Queen and King of the fire energy is up. Earth energy down. Mm. Mm. And please keep in mind that it doesn't mean like all. So if you are an earth energy, don't be offended. I mean, it's it just showing that that's, this is action time. But they're looking at each other. And I see a couple here and family with children. Right? Looking at the investments of everything that they've worked for, that they've planted, the seeds they planted, um, and being patient, waiting for justice to be served, because you do have justice up right here too, right? And no longer needing to. So the interesting thing is there's this action that is someone re receiving something even, Finding out, getting this proof, maybe even there's some legal stuff, right, that has to do with, like, custody or uh, things like that. Man, it's so weird because that card, like, it's like that person right there actually kind of looks like a, a few different people that I know that I'm like, ugh. I, I, this is really weird because the dark hair spotlighted again. I really thought it was the blonde, but it's, it's like... It's like black. It's not it's not brown. It's black. And some of them actually they dye it black. There's roots. The roots, bloody roots. <laughs> I also got sepulchre cutthroat. Yeah. Chariot in reverse. So yeah, they get caught. Stop. The weirdest thing is then like okay, then the Justin Timberlake gets like pulled over and caught. I mean, Nancy Pelosi's husband did too. They think, and he thought he could bribe the police officers, but you know, let's not talk about that. <laughs> um, yeah, I see someone getting stopped 
oh my gosh, once again, this has to do, and it could have to do with a cancer sign, okay, or during this time, it could have to do with uh, a car or a move or travel um, right there because we've got seven of swords in reverse. They could have stole a car, a car thief even. Um, this is interesting. Um, King of Pentacles in reverse, right? Anxiety, sleepless nights, nine of swords. Yeah. They get stopped from doing these things. Justice and, yeah, they get caught. There's no, so this is a good sign. I always like to see when uh, people do not get away with the bullshit. And I think we need confirmation of that because we often see too many times it takes years and years. It comes to light and it takes years and freaking years. And that's why the justice system is kind of a joke. Like, why should it, why does it take four or five fucking years to finalize, you know, it's because the paperwork, they're so backlogged and all of these stupid ass appeals and things like that. And I get it. You want to make sure it's done right uh, and to be patient, but that's the whole thing. I just want to pull the bandaid off instead of like slowly peeling it off. It's just so much. It's like, just pull the bandaid off real quick instead of pulling each hair out individual as you slowly peel it away. Um, I do see potentially apology coming in or even a romantic offer or gesture, even for uh, some of the stuff that happened. Maybe even about some manipulation or um, maybe even for defending or protecting or blocking someone. Could be from Gemini or for Gemini. Knight of Cups is also romantic and loving. Right? Oh, someone didn't have the strength, I see, um, to hold themselves back from maybe saying something or doing something. Mm. Let's see. Not having the strength. Yeah. And, and running around. Like, I see this is not, not, it's like not having the willpower or the confidence. This is like the cowardly lion, though. But the, this person, once we, you know, she's, I said she, yeah. That's what I see in the card. Hmm. This person could be the player person. Didn't have strength to hold themselves back. I see it as being immature, not having willpower. Um... Yeah, and a huge loss because this is getting even kicked out or losing financially. And that's why they're being juggling money. They may have been pushed away. They feel pushed out in the cold. They feel very uh, unvictorious. <laughs> uh, yeah. At this moon. Yeah, I think they don't have even the... Maybe they even get kicked out of um, a hospital or homeless shelter i know this is weird but getting completely uh there's a huge loss hmm and not being able to rest and not being able to do this healing or to go to the hospital or get help um you know what i mean even they okay i i also see this can mean done resting done healing done waiting i've you know what i mean like coming out finally being confident and strong after there has been potentially sadness depression fighting physical fighting blocking communication blocking this action rejecting the system okay and now there's pa patience and waiting so someone's holding the money this is about money over here this new world, this new beginning, even saving. Sometimes this is agreed, but I see as being patient. So putting the money in investments, some of those songs really talk about that too. Is like how many different uh, accounts you have or something like that. Your investments, your savings, even saving money. Huh, Queen of Cups. Even giving money because something's heartbreaking. Saving money up. 
This is receiving, you know, like a payout. But this is patient. This is someone holding it, waiting. It's someone like even freezing the accounts. Ah, freezing the assets, freezing the money. Oh, wow. Ooh, maybe it's a wife or a mother. The empress is, is doing that potentially. Or it, it's it's the wife or the mother. That's like maybe even they're moving accounts, moving something. She's upright, so she's very abundant and wise too. The empress is, you know, <laughs> can she has a lot of responsibilities and she knows how to create life out of her body, out of her womb. There's babies. This is even being your own boss, right? Boss woman. Ah, the moon in reverse now. So now the truth coming through. Some of it, totally, it's mother energy, right? It could be a Pisces or a cancer sign, Scorpio, uh, it's feminine energy regardless, uh, air, uh, Taurus Libra, Empress sometimes is Taurus Libra to me, very Venetian, very Venetian, you know, very loving but and compassionate because we got the moon, emotions, okay, the truth, the true emotions coming forth even, yeah, uh, yeah, the justice is served and finding out these things that were hidden, I told you, this moon bringing forth. Even this king of wands. So Aries, Leo, Sag, upright, taking action. You're going to find these things out. Wow, we have temperance there and knight of swords. So interesting as I go. This is even so trying to keep your life in balance here. Moderation. Moderation. Hmm. Maybe it's even, look, this is even some, this is what stops someone from traveling or something like that. Let's see. Knight of Swords is in reverse and Queen of Pentacles. Oh, no. Yeah, this is someone very angry. This is very untactful, cutting words. But they are actually greedy and all they care about is themselves. Um, this is my gold digger energy. Yeah. Both of them. And and there's deception with it. They they might even act like they got a lot or... Oh, where is that? Yeah, they get caught. Oh, wow. Knight of Swords. So some of you... So that's a Swords energy. So there could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarian uh, as well. This is even saying, that's why I'm saying they're lying. Like they, they act like they have this and they can do these things. Even maybe this, and there's deception because they're, yeah. Oh, queen of pentacles. Okay, we do have the soulmate. This one, I'm even feeling very pushed away. So over here, this is feeling like someone, this, her ego is getting in the way of a relationship. Yeah, with your child, a child even. Mm. An Aries, to be specific. Someone doesn't want to be foolish, but they're they're a novice. They're young energy, trying something new, but they're not willing to like leap in head first. They're just learning it first. Oh wow! And even trying to do it like feeling like you got to protect them. This is even that wounded warrior. Like they're trying something to protect themselves. They're even mimicking what they see. You know. This is sensing that the world is a hostile place and they're very unhappy. Ooh. Okay. So we've got this soulmate energy feeling like they're pushed away out in the cold. There could have been a huge loss. They're not communicating. They don't know the truth about something. Uh, okay. And then we got this young person. I told you it's a son. It's a child. This is trying something new. Like trying a different way or learning something very new and then putting it into action. Right? Even. Yeah. Maybe it had to do with people fighting, you know, competing and hurting. You know what I mean? Mm, I don't know what I'm saying. The bullying. And this is moving them in somewhere a different direction. 
Maybe, um, yeah. And see, not wanting to be foolish, not wanting to jump into the unknown like a fool. And maybe that's even the Aries energy for these uh, over here too. But then we have this person feeling like they've got to protect themselves. Um, the moon, this king of wands, even taking this action potentially. To me, this is, so feeling like that is a scary thing that, uh, this is even needing to get, you know, weapons or, um, you know, mace, bear spray, stun gun. What? You know, I mean, cameras, true emotions coming forth. And maybe somebody felt like that. There was justice there, right? So maybe that was the whole thing of feeling like there was abuse, um, because this, this shows up because of other people or the things in the world. Like, this doesn't happen. Uh, this energy does not happen just out of fear tactics. Okay. This energy happens when someone has actually been hurt. Or feels very unsupported and attacked. And there we got justice there. And we got the thief. And the liar, I mean, getting robbed. Very unhappy. This is someone from your family. Maybe it was family. They feel very unsupported and unloved. How interesting is that? Nine of Wands and Ten of Cups in the reverse. Yeah. And maybe... Yeah, there's anxiety and sleepless nights. Maybe they were being bullied even um, online by family. Or maybe they don't have any family. Or their family has been very rude. Unsupportive. Cutting. Whoa, 1010. Maybe it's Libra energy. But I'm also seeing this is finally putting down this heavy burden. Someone's been carrying this heavy burden. Uh, yeah. And blocking or defending someone. But unblocking this getting unblocked, putting, laying down these feeling like you gotta do it on your own. Whoa! Laying down the ten of wands and the devil. No way. Ten, fifteen. Ten, ten, and ten, fifteen. Huh. This is breaking free. That's what I, when I, I like when the devil's in reverse. Because he no longer has control. It's waking up to that. Overcoming fear. Addictions. Or anything toxic that's controlling. I'm sorry, but religions are, are controlling. They want to control what you do. What you think. What you wear. What's your, your food. So, oftentimes, people are like, oh, well, this is those, you know, sex, drugs, rock and roll. Religion's not that. Yeah, that's so you've taken away free will. You're they're chained and they're domineering and controlling. This is breaking free from that, breaking the chains, laying down the heavy burden. Oh my gosh! And for some of you, it will be a Capricorn person, um, because it represents that. I see Leo Capricorn, um, as maybe a divination abuser as well too. Not getting what they were hoping for. Not getting what they're wishing. Mm. The devil. Ace of Wands and Ace of Swords. So there's no passion. There's no communication. There's no action. Oh, okay. Knight of Pentacles and Ace of Cups. Oh, there's no love. Ah. Uh. And someone is finally being let go. It's just saying that. Everything came to a standstill with this, this person. Yeah, it's been stopped, rejected. No love. <laughs> yeah, this is heartbreaking. Hmm. Sometimes the thing they say about self-love. Hmm. 
not going to be a fool and jump into something new. Um, also, not even working. Someone Maybe someone can't physically work even, you know. Um, they could have got hurt, so they can't physically work because we also have justice there, right? Um, yeah. That's the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, one eight. And then I see, once again, yeah. Oh my gosh, all the aces in reverse, dude. All the aces. The hanged man is in reverse. I'm so two different ways. And I feel like this person is part of your family. So I don't know who this person, this Virgo energy is with this King of Pentacles, the chariot, anxiety, sleepless nights. Yeah. I see them being released, let go. Because this is someone getting stopped to see a different perspective. And I see it as finally maybe now on your feet again or they're on their feet again. They're being let go. It's even like they're unwilling to see this other perspective. Or maybe when the truth comes to light with uh, the justice stuff. Yeah, and, and once again, not getting a job, not getting the raise, not getting the gift. Now you're not getting the money. They're not getting their wishes fulfilled. Mm. Yeah. They couldn't create what they were hoping for. What they were doing. Because they were doing things underneath. Mm. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Ten of swords in reverse too. <coughs> huh. Yeah. So that's that completion. That's an ending. So much completion. Um, and and people not getting new opportunities. Um, not. Uh, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, all in reverse. But Ten of Swords in reverse is good, though. Um, because it means it's fucking finally over. And this can be healed. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because Ten of Swords shows... Okay. I just want to look at all these. And once again, we have that Queen of Pentacles. So now we got Queen of Pentacles. And we got a person who is also a gold digger and a player energy. There's a toxic... There's obsession with drugs, lust, something like that. Or uh, greedy, money, hungry, controlling with fear. This is backstabbing and betrayal. This person... Who did this manipulation, this divination, abuser even, potentially. Um, wow. The, it's, it's Capricorn or something. Leo. I don't know. The player energy. There was betrayal and backstabbing, right? Because it was only, they were just in it for the money. There was some toxic bondage they were trying to do. Um, but this shows it's a, the finality of it. And all these swords can be healed, you know, are coming out. Yeah, a decision is made. Like, because we started with two of swords in reverse. So that's that. Making a decision in your head even about this. And then this was a sense of being at a crossroads of whether or not there was a pause. And seeing if you were going to take a different direction. Even this is stuff about on the world wide web. Um... So this soulmate energy right here is not about lust or this is a soulmate of that is not romantic. This is not a romantic soulmate right here. What did I say? This is a relationship with a child potentially like or um, you know what I mean? Or that there's just they've lost their passion. They're not even communicating. You don't know the truth. You don't have clarity. But I see the decision made once again now to go in a different direction potentially, right? Because you can see also there is some very unapologetic. This Page of Cups is very unapologetic. Okay, we got Queen of Swords up right now. Thinking things through honestly. Getting the proof and evidence, the facts. Because Queen of Swords wants the facts. Don't tell me your soft fucking story. What are the facts? What happened? And what's your proof? So get the proof and evidence, right? 
Ah, uh, and the Queen of Cups upright. Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups upright. Understanding. Okay, I understand how it feels. But right now, we need physical evidence, right? That there is these things happening, right? You have the mother upright. You have a hierophant upright. This could be someone where there is a marriage or they're very committed to. Contracts. There's contracts. Whoa, and judgment. Wow. And I'm seeing someone get in a second chance here. They may have felt very, because you have justice and judgment upright right here. They could have felt very wounded. You wore that me event, right? Uh, very wounded. The, tr the true emotions, they're going to even tell about it. We looked at it. Okay, Scorpio. <laughs> All right. So, for example, Puff Daddy, Sean, you know, Puff, Puff Daddy, <laughs> Puffy, whatever, uh, Combs. Um, there was this, like, video of him freaking beating his girlfriend, Cassie, right? The evidence. And that's when he apologized. He's been accused of rape. He's been accused of so many things. The after parties. Uh, he'd been accused of doing so much. Accused, okay? So that's the whole thing. Judgment call. Someone's getting a wake-up call. Even this is a second chance. This is upright. So justice and judgment is someone else. You know, they're, they're getting a judgment call. I do see this as... Uh, if there has been a drama starter creating some bullshit, this is also like, um, this is King of Wands upright too. Yeah, action time. Uh, things are coming to light. Anything that was secret, a person feeling very like they got to protect themselves. Uh, they're wounded. They, maybe they, they can't work. Like they're hurt or, uh, there's too much PTSD. It could have happened with their work. I'm seeing a judgment call, though. And that is also getting a second chance. So sometimes this is even not guilty. Like, if they've been... It's turning it around, right? Oh. I do see over here that this person where they get stuck and stopped. Uh, yeah. Um it's because they're not financially stable on their own or they're not single. The person could be not single or, or in a not financially stable on their own. Ooh, King of Swords is up right now. Okay. I'm seeing it be the Virgo energy. Um, maybe Temperance. I don't know. Temperance is, is trying to balance. Ooh, the Emperor in reverse. High Priestess up right now this, this time. Mm. King of Swords is up right Ah, clarity. No longer look into the options or coming out of any illusion. If there was any type of like drinking or manipulation or looking at options, it's getting clarity. Looking at the facts, thinking things through logically. Okay? Yeah. About the cyberbully stuff even. Hmm. Clarity is coming. It has they're about someone using being a divination abuser. Uh, wow, the hermit, uh, the tower. This person's trying to not communicate or not do anything to prevent a tower energy, right? Moon, Scorpio, and Virgo. I also see the Cancer sign too. 715 or something. 711. Uh, the Hermit. This is even getting this enlightenment. Removing yourself from others. And that's what I see this middle part really doing. No longer. like I see this as blocking communication. Right? An ending. A death. Transformation. Something regarding even a home. Um, And removing, getting yourself away. I just see this as even people who want to fight with you. Uh, this is someone wanting to get away from everybody because they're fighting or competing, causing um, chaos in the head. Yeah. The communication, the bullying, the back, like bickering, wanting to one up. Um, and you know what I say? When it becomes violent, it's because... 
whoever first does the first violent act, right? You know, the first uh, punch, so to say, um, it's because they've actually lost uh, the intellectual battle. <laughs> and they realize that. And they're like, oh, <laughs> sorry, I just, it's because they've been told, you know, mm. um, wow. Yeah, and that's what, like, yeah, it's blocking and getting away from these people. So there's this thing about depression, and I remember someone always saying that. Uh, before you diagnose yourself with depression, you know, I bring this up again now. Make sure you're not surrounded by assholes. All right. And then there is that feeling a little stuck. Uh, maybe even regarding a lover. Could be dealing with a lover. Uh, a boss. A, a, it's a husband. Oh, maybe it has something to do with a boss. Uh-huh. You know. Uh, the work. Work affairs. You know. Work romances. King of Cups and Reavers. Oh, shit. Scorpio. <laughs> oh. Yeah, someone could be overly emotional. Emotional manipulation. Yeah, tactics. I'm going to kill myself. Oh, you don't love me. Um, or actually trying to create envy and jealousy there's been emotional manipulation with this. Okay. They're always going to try and justify their behavior. Oh, okay. So getting evidence, judgment. Yeah. See, someone who's not, they're even saying like, they're not single. Um, and it might even be someone from your 